Hello my beautiful peeps! How are you guys? Welcome back to my canal. Don't forget to like this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube canal and follow me on social media. Yes sir. You guys can tell by the title already this is a makeup tutorial. Este va a ser un tutorial. I have a makeup tutorial for you guys. Today we have a fall glam. We're gonna transition to, from this to... You guys are gonna see at the end so stay tuned. The whole video so you guys can see how i achieve this fall look i'm thinking of just going with a fucking smoky eye and i mean not too smoky but like a nice chocolate not chocolate but well we'll see <laughs> just like a nice smoky eye darkish not too dark but darkish you know what i'm saying nice nude lip i just decided to get glam today and i was like well am i just really gonna get glam to get glam and then i'm like <laughs> I can get glam with my peeps, you know what I'm saying, and just film a little video. I haven't filmed, have, no, I haven't filmed a makeup tutorial. No, I don't think I've filmed a makeup tutorial in a while. So, let's get right into it. I'm so excited. I'm just excited to get glam. So, I already did my morning skincare and all. I primed my face using First Aid Beauty. Can you guys see it? This is my fave. So now we're just going to carve out the my brow bone and prime the lids with some concealer. And I use Tarte Cosmetics. Just taking a small little flat brush and just... You guys can see, right? Do you guys want me to like really zoom in? <laughs> so just, just carve it. I'm going to turn a little bit so you guys can see because I'll be putting the mirror all up on my face. I feel like I'd be getting hella fucking close to the mirror. But you guys, I just... It's because I'm like very, very detailed. And <laughs> I like to really get in there. Like really, really in there. Dude, before I used to do my fucking makeup with like one of those magnifying glasses. Magnifying glasses, too close. One of, one of those magnifying mirrors. But that was like also during the days where like I was learning and practicing how to do my makeup so i was really up in there so yeah i mean this i don't know this is how i, I should have done my brows i didn't do my brows let me do my brows real quick you guys okay i totally forgot i just totally forgot okay so i went ahead and did my brows looking flaky i already just carved out both of the brows from the bottom and now i'm just applying the concealer onto my lids so it could act like as the eye primer and then just bend it bend it <laughs> blend it with any beauty sponge that you have i use the one from real techniques and to set my brow bone i'm taking the mac cosmetics nc30 and just patting it on there and for today, I'm going to be using Morphe's 3503 palette. I just love this palette. And this palette, you guys, is like perfect for fall. Because you just want really like warm tones, you know? There's warm tones here. The chocolate browns, the reds, oranges. You know what I'm saying? And those are the fucking vibes we're going for. I'm going to take, I'm going to take this one and mix it with this one because and that's going to be the transition color it's because i don't want it too too dark you know something like so just mix it in there i'm gonna just show you guys how to do one eye i don't know what eye i should do i think i'm gonna do this one should i do this one so i like to just kind of start off on the edge and just in padding motions pat it like where i want it to go it looks orange and the colors don't even look that orange. It's okay. I think I'm just going with like this, the light color after. Okay, so we have it placed right there. And I'm just going with like the very light shade that I showed you. And we're gonna blend out the edge. And I'm really like lifting my brow. You don't like really lift your brow even when you're doing eyeshadow on others. You don't like really get in there into all the creases and everything and get a really nice smooth blend. This is a trick to a really nice smooth blend. Make sure to lift the brow. <laughs> I'm really bringing it over here because I'm gonna do a really smoky eye. I'm gonna go in with like, this is like a burnt orange. So I'm gonna take that one. That one's gonna go in the crease. I'm just going to pat it where I want it to go. And I'm really bringing it over here. Then we're going to go in with the other brush that we use. And blend out 
blend it into the transition color you guys i haven't done eyeshadow in a cool minute <laughs> so i'm taking the one that we used for that burnt orange shade i'm gonna take some more and just pat it on there and then blend it out again using the other brush it's because that one it just has like the whole color and we don't want it to like you know get all over then i'm gonna go in with this one i don't know if this is really a brown maybe like a kind of burnt i feel like this is kind of like a little burnt brown does that make sense i feel like that one goes with the look because it's a little bit more warm toned tambien so i'm taking a flat brush and going into that color i'm gonna go in with the beauty blender just so it could really stick onto my eyelid so i'm just patting it just pat it all over the lid you guys and we're gonna blend it out after place it everywhere once i start getting like close to the burnt orange transition color i kind of i don't know how to explain this i kind of just like pat softly and go like this drag it a little bit if that makes sense i don't get any more product or anything i just literally like go like this or if i do need to blend it a little bit but not too hard because this is like a flat brush so you do want to be careful but this is how i blend it and i mean you can like go ahead and do it. i don't know if i want to add a little bit more but just keep doing that until you have it really blended now I'm taking the brush that we used for the burnt orange in the crease, blending those two together. Really raise your brow, you guys, so you could really get in there. You guys see how smooth it is? Looking like a sunset. So now you just now you just get more of the chocolate brown and pat it onto like the lid and there you go super easy let me go ahead and do the other eye and then i'll come back and do the whole face with you guys you guys i'm eating pomegranate <laughs> and i'm drinking my beet juice bruh i feel like my teeth are stained mm -hmm. so i am gonna do my concealer and foundation dude since i don't really like do my concealer and foundation like that like it's not like in my everyday routine everyday makeup so honestly i'd be like forgetting <laughs> i'm like okay what step do i need to do first and stuff but i'm starting off with well for the base now concealer and i first spread it everywhere so now i'm just blending out the concealer with the beauty blender no no it's not beauty blender <laughs> I keep saying beauty blender you guys but it's from real techniques like this is not the beauty blender it's just the beauty sponge so for foundation i'm taking the tarte cosmetics found sealer but then i just like to spread it around first with a little brush just so like it stays there you know then we're gonna go in and really blend it out i feel like this is how you get the most coverage and then I go ahead and blend it with the beauty sponge. And this really gets it in there. Don't forget the neck. Dude, it's kind of weird fucking doing my foundation. Just because I'm not used to like so many products anymore. If that makes sense. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> okay, so now I'm softly blending out concealer. I'm not going to add foundation on the nose really. Because I, I just add powder. Because that helps with like my oiliness okay so now i'm just putting derma blend pro the illuminating banana powder mainly just like right here not all over i mean whatever's like left i just kind of bring it down but i just try to like bake real quick like right there and i'm gonna just take a little bit more and put some on the chin and i'm taking cover effects g60 dude and we're gonna set the whole face i really love this powder it's like really full coverage even without foundation so now we're taking benefit cosmetics okay so i go down like this well that's kind of like because we're my and i do padding motions first and then i like blend okay and then i mean i'm contouring my forehead but it depends like if you have a small forehead you don't want to contour it too much maybe if you have a rounder face too you want to focus on the sides and like right here i don't know what this is called but like i have like i mean i don't have a big ass forehead but it's contourable <laughs> I love me a good contour. Then I like to take my beauty sponge and on the side where I blended out my concealer, I kind of just 
go under the contour to sharpen it up make it a little bit brighter okay so for blush i'm thinking of using one of these i think the burnt orange that i use on the cookies is a little bit too dark so i'm gonna take i'm gonna take this one right here this one and we're gonna use that as blush just so like it goes it ties it all up you know mm-hmm looks cute because the look is like orangey-ish and warm and the pink i mean you can still do pink but i just want to go with this see what's up <laughs> okay so i'm taking the color that we used for the lid and i'm gonna put it i'm gonna smoke out my lower lash line not too much just a little one i already did this one so i first take a little brush and just pat it all along and then i take a little bit and i put it on like inside the waterline <laughs> Kind of like eyeliner. And eyeshadow, to be honest, stays on longer than eyeliner. Well, even if you put on eyeliner, you guys should, like, set it with that color. Like, if you did black eyeliner, set it with black or set it with white. You know what I'm saying? Then we're going to take that orange burnt color we took for the crease. And I took just a little bit. Start off with a little bit. And I'm going to just, like, pat it right below it and then blend. Because I don't want it too smoky, just something light. I totally forgot to contour my nose. So I'm using still the Benefit Cosmetics Hula Bronzer. And I pat it on first exactly where I want it to go. And then just kind of blend softly the edges. And I bring it up to like my eyeshadow. And really blend it in there. You guys, I love a good contour. Nose contour, face contour, like... I love contouring. So I'm just like dusting off just a little bit that we did. And I'm taking the MAC Cosmetics NC30 powder. And I'm putting it under the eyes. Basically everywhere where I put concealer. Just to add that extra pop. You guys see how like brighter it got? And then I just contoured my nose. So really sharpening it up. On the chin. And then on the forehead. So for lashes, I think I'm going to go dramatic. These are babyish lashes in baddie. Ooh, yeah, I think I'm going to just do these. Okay. So these lashes are very dramatic. More dramatic than what I expected. But I'm digging it. I'm digging it. I'm like, fuck it. This is going to be a dramatic fall look. I haven't done dramatic lashes in... A really long time so fuck it why not one time for the one time so now we're gonna do the lips and i'm gonna align them with downtown beauty from nyx cosmetics then i'm going in with juvia's place lady i don't know if i should put on highlight or no what do you guys think and i'm just putting it on there first Mm-hmm. We're doing a nude lip. I love me a nude lip. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put on highlight, you guys. I haven't done highlight, but I think we're gonna do the whole thing. We're just gonna do dramatic. Dramatic glam. I'm taking this highlight. We're gonna put some in the inner corner, because fuck it, why not? We're gonna do the bridge of the nose. So first, I'm going to spray myself with a little bit of setting spray so the highlight can be popping. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now I'm going to go do my hair and I'll be right back. I'm going to take a couple minutes, but for you guys, it's going to be a couple seconds. This is the final look. I ended up crimping my hair. <laughs> I was just going to straighten it, to be honest, but it's like, I always fucking straighten it. And I was like, well, I did a glam glam. And with the leather jacket, we're digging it. We're digging this glam. This is the perfect. My bad, you guys. The messages are coming through now. Um, this is the perfect dramatic fall glam. It's like an easy fall glam. Dramatic lashes, smoky shadow, the nude lip. I'm obsessed. Obsessed. I haven't done a glam like this in like a minute. I'm literally just like looking at myself. <laughs> Not to be conceited or anything. But I'm admiring it. And I'm, that, that's all I got glam for. Just to admire myself. Because I ain't got nowhere to go. Who's going to invite me somewhere? 
little close-up of the eyes i'm really obsessed well you guys i hope you guys like this look let me know if you guys tried it out comment down below if you guys want more fall looks i'm just obsessed i love fall looks like creating fall looks because it's just the warm tones you know i love the oranges the smoky eyes i love a smoky eye in a nude look but let me know you guys want to see a bold lip let me know don't forget to like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel and follow me on social media now i need to take some selfies to post on the gram make sure you guys are following me on the gram too on instagram i have instagram tiktok everything i leave uh well i'm gonna tag it right here but i leave everything down below so yes bye my peeps besitos